Seriously, good luck. Let's go. Daryl, that punch you. Seriously. Daryl, you go first, yeah? <laughs> wasn't seeing, it was more like hearing. It was like, um, my granddad, he always used to like get me to do little jobs for him. And he'd be like, if you go downstairs and get me an orange, or if you go tell this person something, I'll give you a biscuit. And I'd always be like, oh, do you want a biscuit? And I was walking through um, one of our local shops, QD, in the biscuit area, because I was hungry. And like, it might have been like someone else who sounded like him or whatever, but like, I could hear, like, it sounded like his voice asking me if I wanted a biscuit. And I was like, really freaked out by that. Four, three, two, one. Lena! Shh! Archie! Clem! Do I get involved or I observe? You observe. Okay. You're about to go fish, darling! Sure. Make it bigger. You make us believe what you say. Chup chup. Chup chup. That Chup Can you see slowly in a line? It's the snake. Yeah. So you all come. So it's just this. Yeah? Then this. See? Yeah. And then the sun. So we will go slowly, slowly. The trouble with you, Gina, is that you believe everything. Give over. You think I believe you. Anyway, who wants to get romantic with you? And now all of a sudden he wants to boycott us being together. He thinks I might, you know, do something. Do something? Now that I'm a fully grown man, testosterone might get the better of me. You've never been any good at tests. What makes you think you'll be good at your testosterone? Testosterone? You know. Uh, bollocks, what's it matter? Let's get a move on. There's at least 15 rides we haven't been on. Gravitron, here we come. Get out of there, Nicole. Gravitron's about to stop. I've only got four mobiles, five pounds fifty, and two hats. That's loads for today. What are you going to do? Take them to Poland to sell? Nah, I might keep this one myself. Looks all right, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll do my best. Five years boxing takes its toll. <laughs> Who would have known you were so good? That time you showed that greasy rocker Seventh Heaven on the Sister Twist. And that Asian guy when he wouldn't pay on the Dodgers. <laughs> Come on, try the Dodgers. It's amazing fun. Dodgers, Dodgers. I've travelled the world in my little wagon. Norwich for Christmas. Kingsley for the Kingsley Mart. Peterborough for the Cherry Fair. There was my Uncle Mickey, my Uncle Georgie, my Uncle Johnny. And me aunt Joy, cause what happened was, me man married me dad, and it was me uncle Charlie who was there when they got married. So he was there before I was born. So he wasn't an uncle, he was more of a brother. And uncle Charlie's my long lost cousin. 
How can he be your long lost cousin? Uh, then is my long lost uh, uh, uncle. What a bit hazy if you ask me. It's my granddad you related to your friggin' Egypt. You know, the one who's always tried to nibble you in the pram. <gasps> Grandpa Freddy! Let's do an undulation movement. Uh, that is knees, then hips, chest, head, and then you cannot go anywhere else and you start again. Let me see. Your left hand behind, slightly behind, and your right hand in front. Yes. This should be by your face. And then you bring your right hand across. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Left hand over the top. Yeah. And then back. Thumbs on the outside. Yeah. And right hand over. Left hand punches over the top. And right hand. It's boxing in your blood, eh? Like uncle, like nephew, are we? He's not my real uncle. They're all your bloody relatives. Ah, just throw him in there. Let's see what he's made of. Mushy peas, I think. More like curry peas. <laughs> Great. The more poles on this fairground, the better. The best bits are when we sit around the fire after work. Bake some potatoes, sizzle some sausages. And I can even talk about my love for opera. Back in Poland, my parents would say, no way to music. It went for bread on your table. But now I'm away from all that. I can follow my dreams. Get real, Mika. We're like that. <laughs> we're like that. <laughs> Daryl, you look like you're hanging on for like dear life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell Gina if I see her. You can't hear yourself think when you're at the fun fair. It's so loud. All reds in this game. Pure cash, no invoices. You want to stay away from those invoices. No good for you. That's why I keep it all under wraps. My missus, she has the most common sense from all. Told me I should have books in an affair. Yeah, she's got more sense than this prime idiot minister. What do you think? I should go to her and ask her what to do. What about? The dead body, shall I ask her? Don't be a bleeding dunce, Georgie. She'd only fret. She wouldn't believe we found it rolled up in the old tarpaulin. Where is it now? Your freezer. Her brother and cheese in the freaking freezer. Keep your anger focused. That guy said that he's the nephew of the landlord. He said that his landlord is a prize boxer. He was trying to scare me off with some old man. What are you going to do? when your landlord finds out you're beating up his nephew. Hmm. There's nothing in my contract that says I cannot beat up his relatives. I'd watch out, he'll come after you with his walking stick. Oh, and maybe it will be supersonic Zimafrey. We're having a good time at the back, actually. You just do what comes to you. Yeah, because we know we're the fun fair and we're enjoying ourselves. And do you remember when we went down to the fun fair? We we're just trying to enjoy and recapture that, weren't we? So we got some spinning, you know, some, mm -hmm. some pendulum. We had a shooting range. Somebody does a help to scale to come around. I pour some beer. Yeah, beer, candy floss, burger. Welcome to the dark side of we should get out of here. Which way's out? First three minutes, you cannot capture the imagination of the audience. Thank you very much, Frenchtown. Go home.